All right, welcome back. I just wanted to put together a little video here, just showing uh, exactly what happened when I crashed, and uh, just go over my little analysis of said crash. Uh, keep in mind, I had this bike for just over one week when this happened. So I'm coming off riding a cruiser. Uh, you know, the cruiser weighs about 750 pounds. Uh, this bike weighs about 460 pounds, so it's it, it's almost half the weight. Uh, it has better brakes. It was newer. Uh, you know, I'm I'm making up excuses. I realize, but uh, just giving a little bit of the background. So when uh when this crash happened, it happened uh, mostly due to my own inexperience with this bike. Uh, if I was riding on my cruiser, I don't honestly think I would have crashed. I think uh, I probably would have braked and it would have uh, ended differently. So, all right. Here is where we're going to crash. So let me just uh, jump up a little head here. And so what happens is I had just come down this road. This This video that I recorded here is about 12 minutes long and I had just come down this road and so what happens here is I, I I totally wasn't expecting what what is about to happen so I'm gonna like pause this as I get around this corner right you can see I as I get around this corner uh, can we see it let me jump up a few frames here uh, all right so here if we can zoom in Right here, you can see the truck in the background. There's actually two cars. There's two trucks coming down the road. And uh, you can barely see it, but right here, there's a cop. There's a cop car sitting right here. Now, I totally was not expecting to see that cop car, because like I said, I had seriously just come down this road not five minutes sooner and the cop wasn't there. I decided I was going to turn around and head back towards my house because I was going to uh, capture, uh, get my other GoPro and see if I could do some uh, split screen type things. But anyway, uh, uh, maybe we can see it a little better as I zoom in here a little bit, but I haven't quite reacted yet. All right, I'm just going a couple frames here. And... I can probably zoom in pretty well right here. You can definitely see the cop car in the background here. This this car, you you know, you can't really see it too well. Uh, hopefully, I can zoom in and, and at least make it out a little bit. But that is a cop, and he's pointing right towards the road. Uh, if you're watching my mirror here, you can see my fucking panic kick in, and you'll see my hand actually grip hard on the brake. All right, so here I am going for the brake and as I go for the brake you see I'm doing 60 miles an hour down here and look at that front end dip you know with each frame here boom 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 the bike is just hard braking and it's locking up look at how far down that front end goes and this all just really happened so fast I didn't even realize that I was sliding down the road until I was sliding down the road, so I, I had no chance to unlock the brake. You know, uh, you know when you when you lock up the rear tire, you can feel the back end swerve out a little bit, and you know you can let go of the brake and you know recover from that. This I had zero chance. I mean, look at I'm going one frame at a time here, and you can see you know the bike right there is you know as soon as it hit bottom there, it is <laughs> like bottomed out the bike started to fall over. You know, you can see the bike already starting to kind of fall over, and you know, it just continues to do so. And, you know, right at this point already, you know, I, I only went, what was that, maybe 20 frames? You know, and this is uh, capturing at uh, 120 frames a second. So I had split second before I fucking went down. So here's a few more frames, you know, trying to recover. I don't remember any of this part right here. You know, to be honest, I I kind of like 
blacked out, if you will. I don't know. The body's kind of amazing like that. It just fucking uh, <laughs> keeps you from feeling the pain as it's happening. You can probably see the cop car a little better here at this point. And you can see, of course, this truck coming, and he sees me going down. Which is, you know, happens to be a good thing and certainly saves my friggin' foot. But obviously the bike is down. You know, the bike is gone. And I be sliding. Here's my initial impact. Boom. 60 miles an hour sliding down the road. And then I start to flip. <laughs> right here is a part piece of my windshield that broke off. You know, as soon as it hit, you know, you can see my mirror hitting there. Uh, windshield's flying behind me. I'm sliding. See all the debris. We going down the kitty slide. And here's where my rock jeans are saving my ass. You know, here I am just sliding down on my ass. <clears throat> Bike sliding. You kind of see sparks coming up the side there from my frame sliders. And thankfully this guy, you know, he sees me and he's alert, not fucking a typical cager texting and driving. He sees me, he's like going into the ditch. He, he He's just trying to not run me over, which I totally appreciate because for whatever reason <laughs> wanted to throw itself underneath this truck's tires. And here I am sliding down on the wrong side of the fucking road. And there goes my foot. It's like, oh, let me let me see if I can kick off from this truck. You know, maybe get myself back on the right side of the road. Try to stick my friggin' foot underneath the tire. Thank, thank God that guy was awake. So here I tumble. And then I impact. So at this point, you know, somebody asked me if I was, like, doing massive barrel rolls down the street. No, at this point, my GoPro uh, broke off. You know, my helmet hit right at the GoPro, and my GoPro fell off and uh, just started spinning into outer space here. <laughs> well, not outer space, obviously, but it just starts spinning, and I just keep on flying down the road. So we don't actually really need to watch a GoPro spinning in outer space here, but there was, like, one other good shot. There you go. There's me sliding down the road, all on my shoulder, my friggin' jacket's riding up. And this is, uh, right here, this is, like, where I sustained my injuries, basically, is because my jacket's riding up. Uh, you know, you can kind of see it there a little bit. I got a little bit of road rash, and I'm going to show that in another video. But, uh, I think that's all about I want to show in here. After the crash, I was able to roll the bike down to where this is where the cop was actually, uh, you know, parked and looking at the road. So I was able to just wheel the bike down here and get it out of the ditch and uh, take a look at the damage a little bit. So you can see the handlebars, like they they twisted down uh, and they might have bent and they whacked the uh, gas tank here on this side but the the bike slid on the other side so so that uh that damage there is probably just from the handlebars bouncing between uh so obviously here i lost my windshield uh you can see a little bit of uh scarring there where the mirror scraped along the ground uh, i'm sure the mirror was bent and i just kind of bent it back uh you can see on this side the handlebar is definitely bent and tweaked it's definitely not looking where it should, and, and so I have more damage here on the gas tank. Uh, here's a little bit of, uh, you know, my frame sliders, you know, did did what they were supposed to do for the most part, and uh, they protected a lot of the damage from the bike, but obviously there was a lot of damage to the bike as well. Uh, so I just go in here and pull a little, little <laughs> grass, a little bit of the earth out of there. Uh, you can see some of the more of the damage down here. This plate uh, ground up a bit. Uh, my shifter is definitely bent. My peg broke off completely. You can't. I don't know if I focus in on that at all. You know, I wasn't really thinking to focus on the damage, but uh, it snapped off right there. That's 
guess what I was pointing out. Uh, yeah, ground out the rear sliders and the rear peg. Anyway, that's what happened to my bike. Hopefully you'll find this educational. I sure did. I, I learned the hard way uh, that you need to practice hard braking. You need to practice emergency braking on any new bike. Uh, even though you think you got it down on one bike, you're going to want to practice on that new bike just to make sure you don't pull a friggin' bonehead maneuver like I did. Uh, so hopefully this uh, helps somebody, and it's certainly... Uh, open my eyes to the dangers of locking up the front tire. I mean, I, I always knew it. I always knew it was a possibility and a problem, but I, I, I guess I didn't know how quickly it was going to happen. So, uh, have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and uh, look forward to my next video where I'm going to show what happened to my gear and the minor injuries I suffered. You know, I got a little bit of road rash, and that, that's about it. Thank you to my gear. So I'll show that, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments below. Till next time, see ya.